Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is a channel update video. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. I, I feel like I need to make this perfect. But it's really just a video just me talking to you guys. Um, more of on a personal level because most of the time I'm just playing games and stuff. I'm not really talking to anyone. Um, so this is just me talking about some random things. The reason why I wanted to make this channel update video is I recently I've been um, I've been reminded of something that I, I learned um, you know many many times and I, I need to constantly be reminded of um, whenever I'm doing YouTube and the the uh, the I think the the thing is um, you're you're never too late to to do anything that you want to do. And it's because of this that I started doing YouTube. I think that's that's the reason. Like, just this, um, because I believe this. I believe that you're you're not too late. That I was able to start doing YouTube. Because when I started, the YouTube was already there was already a lot of people like streaming, uh, making videos for games and stuff. You know, or, like PewDiePie was already really big. Um, you know, before I I even I even um, began. But. Um, the the reason why I was able to start was just this simple belief of I I had to start like you know I'm I'm not I'm not too late to do the things that I want to do um, and I just decided to I didn't even have anything I didn't even have this computer I just decided that all right I need I wanna I wanna do um, you know I wanna do YouTube videos I wanna start streaming um, to whatever these things that the these other guys are doing um, and I in order to get there I, I had to you know um, I had to do a B and C and then I just I just started I just began um, I didn't originally I didn't have this computer to I didn't have this camera this webcam I didn't have this microphone um, I didn't have any of these things and um, I, I actually I was I was still in college at the time um, and I I decided to to get a job like a, a job during nighttime it was actually a full-time job like I was a full-time student and at the same time I was um, I was uh, I got a full-time job you know during the night shift and and I, I worked during that time um, so whenever I, I got out of school I just headed to my job and I, I just went really, really hard. Like I didn't work for very long. I only worked for two months, and I, I saved up enough. Like I worked for two months, but I, I worked every single day nonstop. Like I didn't take a single day off, not a single weekend, not a, not a, not a single holiday. Um, and the, the reason I was able to do this was because I, I was working at a net cafe. The net cafes are like open 24/7 um, in Taiwan, and um, you know I just I just worked. I I would. Uh, get off school, go to work, you know, get home, sleep, wake up, go to school, go to work, get home, sleep. Same thing, like the, the exact um, same um, routine over and over again, you know, for the, for, just for, just for a short two months. Um, and then I, I, after I, I was able to get enough money, you know, quit my job and built my own computer, um, got, these equipment and just started started doing YouTube, started streaming. I actually started doing YouTube first. Um, I decided one day while well, when I was playing a game, um, it was a wall game. It was called Summoner's War. That I decided to record my summoning session and post it on YouTube. That's how I how I got started on YouTube. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was it was definitely pretty nice. Um, but time and time again, while I was working on YouTube and stuff, I had to constantly um, be reminded of that same same principle of you're never too late, you know. Because there's a lot of skills that I, I wouldn't really, you know, I'm not I'm not saying this to to make it sound like you know it's 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 a uh, it's it's difficult, you know. It takes like mastery and, and years of training, but it, it really doesn't. But there are certain things that you need to know how to do. Like you need to know how to run OBS. You need to know how to edit. You need to know how to um, you know edit um, pictures as well to like make the thumbnails. And you need to know how to do 
um, SEO for for YouTube and um, stuff like that, you know, um, that combined together have gotten me where I am today. Um, I'm not really anywhere yet. I I I. I had this comment the other day um, from my last channel update video. I mentioned something about you know if I keep working on YouTube, I'll eventually make it. Um, the the commenter told me that I I've already made it basically. I I went through um, I'm already through the through the hump. You know I'm already through that hump, and um I I um, it's smooth sailing from here on. The the thing is um, I do think that I'm through us this this. Like I'm, I'm better off than I was a few months ago because now I can just do this and um, keep this routine up. I can st stably gain um, viewers and subscribers, but there's a there's always another hump. Like when you get through this small hump, the next hump is even bigger than this one. You 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 use the you you don't just push harder. You use the strength that you've gained. Um, while climbing that first hump to help you climb that second hump. And you do, this process continues over and over and over again until you become, I don't know, become PewDiePie or something. Um, but, you know, there, there's there's a lot of... Uh, it, 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 take, it does take a lot of, um, I think, commitment and stuff. I, I don't really think it's hard work. It's just, you have to just do it. Sometimes you... you um, you don't even feel like doing it, but then you still have to do it, you know? Um, the thing is, YouTube actually does make me, like, I, I'm really, really happy with where I am right now. I'm really, really happy doing what I'm doing right now. Um, and the, I think YouTube has always been this, I wouldn't say it's a direct goal of mine. Like, I didn't, I didn't plan to be a YouTuber. Like, I didn't, like, it's not like this. I have this mental checklist that I have. Of, um, of things that I, I want to do before I die, you know, just a, a simple list of just random, random things. Um, few things on that list are like, I want to one day make my own video game. I want to one day, um, you know, make my own manga or something like that. Um, and these are things I, I, I know I will, I will do, whatever I can to, to try to accomplish before I before the day that I die. Um, and that's what keeps me happy actually. One of the things on the on the list is I wanted to I wanted to um, not really just show the world that you can actually be happy um, and also show myself that you can be happy doing doing um, like you can find a job that you're happy doing. I think that, that that's where that's where YouTube comes in. Um, obviously, I haven't made it. I haven't really made this a full time job, and it's it's not really it's not really about the money. Because if you think about it, unless you have are like one of the really really big YouTubers with like a million subs, um, you're not making a lot of money on YouTube. Like you don't you don't really make that much. Like even if you if you have if you don't even have like a hundred thousand subscribers then you're not really um like it's 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 not even easy to to support yourself you know financially doing this you can like maybe with fifty thousand you can maybe get by um and that's it's a lot of it's a lot of hard work to get there you know and if you weren't happy doing this then there's no no point like if you're not happy doing doing um doing YouTube then it's it really is not like by itself it's not that rewarding you know it's like 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 if you just talk about um, the the money that you make it's not all that rewarding but the the reward comes in when you when you're able to just live happily every day and just you know not <laughs> um, and and uh, I think that's it. That's just that's just it. It's just you're just happy and stuff. Um, I think the 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 reason why I have this thing like do a job that you're happy doing on my list of things to do before I die um, is be, because I had this conversation one time with a roommate of mine. 
um, he was a much older guy that was working in a pretty good job that paid him really well. He was in, in a management position in like a, a, an oil rig, and those jobs pay like a lot of money. Um, and he does it for for the money basically. And he told me one time that like I, I think I've always had a a lot of respect for him because I thought he was like a, just a really really successful person because he he made a lot of money. Um, because he worked at an oil rig, he was able to just chill, and then he can just be at anywhere that he wants in the world. So he decided to just chill in Vancouver for like a month, just because he felt like it. Um, and that's why I was I was roommates with him. Um, he just rented a room, you know, and and he just chilled there for a month. Um, and I, I think I've always had a a lot of respect for him because I thought he was just a really really success well not really successful he was pretty pretty successful person. Um, and and uh, he told me one time that it's impossible, like it's 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 impossible. He believes that it's impossible for you to do a job that you're happy doing. Um, and I think part of me just really wanted to prove him wrong, because like, I, I didn't I didn't want to accept that at the at the time that he told me. And um, yeah, and and. and because this this thing is on my checklist that I'm going to try my very very best to to make it um, and then one day one day not just um, not just show myself but show others that you know have been with me on this on this little journey that you can you can you can find something that you love doing um, and make it work It's kind of too early for me to say this because I, I haven't really made it yet. Um, <laughs> but one day I will. One day I will. Don't worry about that. So the other thing, um, the, the, the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was making, um, I was doing artwork for a second channel that I'm starting up. Um, now, I've been really secretive about this second channel. The reason for that is because I'll, I'll reveal a little bit more here. It's not safe for work, all right. It's a it, the element of the channel is not like safe for work, and it's about anime, manga, weeaboo stuff. Um, it's pretty much no surprise I'm I'm pretty pretty weeb. Um, you know, just look at every single one of my YouTube thumbnails. I think a lot of you guys are are like fans of anime and stuff. Um, people, at least the people that play like Monster Super League, because because of the art style, you know, like it it just looks like anime art style, um, and and uh, yeah. While I was working on the artwork for the the second channel, I was I had to draw a lot of like anime stuff, and in the process of that, I was having a lot of regrets. I was regretting that I should have spent a lot of time um, before practicing how to draw like if I knew how to draw before then I wouldn't have so much trouble doing it now I haven't really drawn that much like I, I probably drawn like three pictures on on my computer um, you know like doing like I wouldn't call it digital digital art but you know basically drawing on on like Sai or Photoshop or something like that um, if you can if you can call that digital art but you know, just drawing anime stuff, um, and I haven't had a lot of uh, a lot of practice. I've only drawn maybe like three pictures before, and it was always for for random for random stuff on on YouTube. Sometimes it's, it was for my interests as well. But I had a lot of regrets before, um, and I I um, just regret that in the past I didn't spend time to practice all these skills that would have been useful today. Um, instead I, I spent my time, you know, just fucking around and stuff. Um, and also learning skills that are, are kind, of seem, kind of seem useless to me today. But then, thing is, I couldn't have known at the time. And it comes back to that same old principle again. You're not you're never too late. You're never too late to start now. And it's always better to start today because for a certain skill, for you to develop a certain skill, like for me to, um, uh, uh, for example, when I'm 
when I'm drawing something. Um, something that would take like a really good artist 20 minutes to do would take me like the entire day. Like just like a really good artist might be able to just draw these things and then it, it, it would just take that person 20 minutes. Um, but for me, like to, to do that exact same thing and to this maybe like I, I don't think I can even do it to that level like the the, the the detail and stuff I can't even do it to that level but um, for me to get near that level like to do something that is near that level um, it would take me an entire day of just doing that and that's that's why I've been having a lot of frustrations because it, it like your your patience um, you know just it, it grows thinner and thinner every single every single um, extra hour that you spend on it um, and but I think it's all all just part of a process um, it's always better to start today because if a certain skill takes you like a week to learn um, it's better to start learning now than tomorrow because if you do start tomorrow then there's there's two two downsides of starting tomorrow one if you start today um, if it takes you exactly seven days to learn then seven days later you'll know how to do this if you start tomorrow then you'll it'll take you eight it, like you you won't learn you won't know how to do this till eight days later um, obviously like within a day maybe some things might not happen but if if this skill takes you years to learn it's still better to start now because you might need the skill at some time if you if you think that's the skill is something that you you want to know how to do especially if it's something you're interested in um, it's definitely worth it to, to start now the other thing is if you start tomorrow then if you will tomorrow you'll want to start tomorrow as well and this it just it just never stops you just keep pushing it um, further and further back until you never do it um, yeah that's just some of the things I, I learned while doing YouTube um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys just share that share that my my um, my my experiences these are just some of my experiences obviously I'm still very very young um, there's still a lot for me to experience in life but I think um, this experience has been somewhat unique because I I some of the, a lot of these things I, I can't really learn from anyone I had to just go at it and you know and then sometimes it would work out sometimes it wouldn't um, I think one of the most valuable I think one of my most valuable strengths um, I don't know if it's possible to learn but as long as you you know the principle then you can you can act on it is don't be afraid to to um, to spend time spend effort on things that you might you know might not work out um, if you ha if it has a chance to work out and it's something that you really want then then uh, don't be afraid to spend, to, to, to put effort and put put time into it. Um, I think that's that's one of the reasons why I'm starting YouTube. I don't know if I like I you, you can't I can't guarantee that I'll make it big one day, but I I'll, I'll still do it. You know I'll still try my very best to to make that happen. Um, and sometimes it, some of these things don't work out. Like when I when I found out that I was in, I was rejected by UCI, um, I think I bounced back pretty quick. I ha had all these great plans before of when I got in, would would get into the school and I would do A, B, and C, and then you know this would lead to that, and then you know I have all all these plans lined up, and then the the moment that I found out that I wasn't able to get in, then it like all that just fell apart. But I was able to bounce back really, really quick, and then come up with new plans in the future. And um, for and uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's definitely a really, really valuable principle to have. Just you know, not don't be afraid to spend time 
doing um trying to trying to get where you want to go even if you know it might not work out and if you want to do that um it's not too late it's never too late and if you and once you realize that you should start today instead of tomorrow that's the, that's the message I wanted, I wanted to leave you guys with um, so yeah that's pretty much it that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out